Hello, welcome to episode one of my podcast. My name is Angela and I have called my podcast Nutting on the Farm, which is my uh, hashtag on Instagram, etc. So um, I hope you enjoy my little chat with you about all things crafty, which at the moment is mainly my knitting. I live in County Down in Northern Ireland. I live with my husband on a dairy farm and we have three children um, who are all married now and our youngest lives beside us and works on the farm with my husband Andrew. Our two other children live a good bit further away um, so we don't get to see them just as often. We have four grandchildren and it's great being able to spend some time with them and uh, they do most certainly can keep you keep you on your toes and keep you up to date with all the different mod cons and um, TV shows and cartoons and things that are are around. So that's that's good. Um, just so that you know where you can find me, I am on Instagram as knitting on the farm with all the underscores. I also have a Ravelry page, which is knitting on the farm all one word and i have an email address if you wanted to drop a line at any stage and it's knitting on the farm at gmail.com so those are the places you can find me um i keep up to date quite well on on uh, instagram but i haven't kept my ravelry page up to date so i really need to sit down and do that I like to knit rather than, than sit and do that, but I have all the photographs, so I suppose it wouldn't take wouldn't take too long. Um, I did a little introduction back in December before I did my Christmas vlog, so um, that's probably a repeat, but for anybody new, that's a little bit about myself. So yeah, this is podcast number one, and I don't intend to have a very long podcast I'm hoping um, because there's so many interesting ones out there I don't want to be don't want to be keeping you back but um, pull up a chair and your cuppa or your knitting and uh, let's see how this let's see how this goes so um, I have my notes and I have my notes about my yarn and things so hopefully that will keep the thing um, rolling along smoothly so the first thing um, we'll have a little chat about is some finished things. I only have two two finished items and um, you'll have seen, if you're on Instagram, you'll have seen these lots and they are my socks. You'll, you'll know that we went on holidays in January and these socks are what I took and knit when I was away. These ones here, the yarn is by Sherry Iris from Sherry Iris Designs. And this was the full skein that was in um, her festive celebration box at Christmas, which I got. Um, it was um, 12 days, it ran from the 25th of December um, through to the 4th of January, I think. And this was the full skein. So I call these socks um, Tranquility at Sea. Because we were, were cruising, I thought it was a nice, appropriate name. And I thought the colours just were suited to that as well. The, the blues and the greens and the little bits of pink in there were, were lovely. This pattern is just a, a mishmash really. Um, there may well be a pattern out there, but um, I didn't didn't look for it. Um, it's just a basic uh, garter stitch, number of stitches going up the two sides and um, traditional heel flap and turn and my round toe that I use. Um, my sock recipe, if you want to, to call it, is the cuff is usually 20 rows and normally single single one by one rib knit through the back of the loop or two by two, um, just depending. The leg is usually around 64 to 72 rows. Um, I like to do the eye of partridge uh, heel and I do the slightly more rounded flap and I'll put a link down below for the where I find the information for it. Um, the foot is normally in around 58 to, to 60 rows and then I do the rounded, the rounded toe 
So it fits quite well and it really is just my preferred preferred method. So those are my Tranquility at Sea socks. Um, and as I say, you'll have seen lots about those on, on my Instagram page. These were another pair then that I took with me on holidays. And when I was looking for yarn in my stash to take, I seen this and just thought it was perfect. So I called these Sunset at Sea. Uh, the yarn came in the, in the Countryside Sock Club that I purchased last year from Sherry Aris Designs. And this was actually based on the Kingfisher, but the colors just, I just thought they fitted in with what, what I was doing at that particular time. These socks are almost dry on the blockers. Um, this pattern was uh, Vanilla Wool um, by Marianne Heikenib. And it's, um, no, actually it's not, sorry. It's Drippity Drop uh, sock pattern, I apologize and it's available on Ravelry and then it's just my usual um, recipe for the for the rest so yeah I'm really pleased with those you can sort of see the decreases more and clearly on that lighter colour yarn so it is the yarn is the um, Sherry's Platinum Base which is 7525 uh, Superwash Merino I just love her yarn I, I love her dye technique and it's all so consistent and the colours just really just really suit and it means um any of the colours really I can knit a pair for Andre out of as well. Um so we do eeny meeny miny mo. So those were my sunset at sea socks um by uh yarn by Sherry Ars and pattern drippity drop. So those are the only two items really I finished finished in January. Um, we were on holidays sort of straight after Christmas and then when we come home it, it really felt like I had all the things to do from just from just after Christmas. So it turned out to be a busy month. Um, so that's all I have have finished at the moment. I do have some things on the needles. I did start um I'm not just sure when I started it. Oh, I started it on the 22nd of January, so just after I came home, um, I started the Snowmelt Shawl by uh, Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. I've seen this pattern and I've wanted to knit it for quite a while. Um, I wasn't just sure what yarn to use to knit it in. So I was watching um, the podcast by uh, Craft House Magic and then I was looking through her website and she had this beautiful yarn which is 50% camel and 50% silk and I discussed it with her and she said it would it would work fine and I purchased it in these three colours. The top colour here, the lighter colour, is called Circle in the Sand. Then the slightly darker colour here is Heaven is a Place on Earth. And then the grey tone colour, yeah, that's pretty good, is called I Get Weak. So this pattern obviously had come out in clues. There were five clues at some stage. So I have knit clue number one, and then this bottom lace section was clue number two. So I just have started clue number three. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. Um, yeah, not really very well. We're sort of into the greys. Let me see. Maybe if I hold it that way. Yeah, we're into the greys and then the the darker colour. So um I'm really enjoying really enjoying it. It's nice to do. There's about 263 stitches I think on the needles there. So it's it's nice, it's a nice knit. And the colours actually looking at them he um you know on my knee or on the needles. You can't just see the difference as much as you see it um, on camera. So hopefully, when it's finished, um, it'll look it'll look well. They're nice. It's a nice subtle change, and I don't particularly like very bright bright colours. So I think it's it it'll suit me, and it'll be lovely when it's lovely when it's blocked. So that is the snow melt shawl by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade and that yarn is just so squishy and so soft. It really is 
beautiful and it's um, craft house magic if you want to pop across and her sock yarn I, I knit a pair of socks you'll have you'll have seen at Christmas and her, her yarn's just lovely I really enjoy it so that's my shawl it's on the needles the other thing that's on the needles just at the moment is a pair of socks for Andrew um, I just call these socks number one 2020 and he loves the handed socks for his um, welly boots and while I love knitting him socks in hand dyed yarn and he enjoys wearing them I haven't just convinced myself to let him wear them inside wellies so this is um, just a, a um, store-bought yarn it's West Yorkshire spinners in their signature um, section selection and the contrast color is um, called nutmeg and the main color that I've used here is called mallard um, and that's the that's the yarn in the in the balls um, it does match quite well and this is a good serviceable color for where it's intended to be used and this here um, is fine for toes and cuffs um, and I'm going to do the heel in it as well whether I should wise or not I'm not quite not quite sure but I'm going to do it in this pair anyway so I will have enough there to easily get two pair and um, just by reversing the reversing the colorways so that's just as far as I've got on sock number sock number one um, I just started it a few day, a couple of days ago actually and uh, I'm at the heel ready to do the heel uh, flap at the moment so yeah easy knit and um, the pattern if I didn't say is called vanilla wool from Ravelry it's a paid for pattern and it's by Marianne Haikkonen which I'm sure I have just bashed her name but it's vanilla wool and uh, it's just a simple four week four row repeat and none of the socks I've ever knit have been um, plain stock in it I just love something with a pattern that keeps the interest so um, you'll probably see that throughout the throughout the podcasts so that's the, the two items that are I'm working on at the moment I also have my floozy cardigan which I talked about in my vlogmas um, but I haven't done anything really more to it so I need to need to get it out and work it on so I thought then I would um, just share with you about a couple of things that are up next um, for my needles and in vlogmas I shared with you the first of the, the little mini skeins that came in my festive seasons box and I am going to put a video in here now showing you the rest of them and talking about what I'm going to knit Anyone with Anyone that has watched my December vlogs will know that I got um, the festive season celebration box from Sherry Aris which consisted of the beautiful Robin um, project bag and then 12, 12 individual wrapped minis along with lots of little goodies and when these came I knew that the pattern that I wanted to use was the Snuggle Down Coil by So Sweet Violet um, which is, is jewels that everybody everybody knows so it required I think approximately 70 uh, grams and some fluff or some fluff so I got this from my friend Diane um, of Ellen Tree Yarns and I just wanted to show you the rest of the minis because I rushed off on holidays and didn't didn't get them finished and I'm going to choose out of them seven colors to to make this lovely coil so these were the first ones that I think I did share with you um, which started on the 25th of December so that was the 25th the 26th through to the 27th 28th and a beautiful teacup from Grace Keeper 29th and the 30th so they're absolutely beautiful 
even in the shades they are and then these ones started 2020 and that's the last day of December and then January 1st the 2nd the 3rd the 4th and the 5th so I just need to decide now I'm picking out the the seven colours that I want to I want to use. I think there's there's seven beautiful colours there that have shades of green in them, but they also go very well. Even if I just chose them in the first first seven first seven days, I probably could get two colours out of this if I chose two other minis from Stash. So I just wanted to, to add that in as an extra a little video because it was going to be too hard to to show it all and to do it justice on my on my podcast. So yeah, that was the festive celebrations box from Serieras Designs. going to knit the uh, Snuggle Down Coil by Jules of So Sweet Violet and um, I also have a couple of photographs of how I've picked the colours out and please do let me know which one you think um, works best uh, just in the way I've organised the organised the yarns and um, so I've talked a wee bit more about that in the video because there was no way I was going to be able to, to show them all properly um, just by chatting to you. So that is something that's definitely coming up next and I just can't wait to cast it on. So now that I've picked out the colours, that could happen uh, sooner rather than later. I may not even wait until I finish my snow melt shawl. Um, also, um, I signed up this year for Sherry Aris Designs uh, Sock Club again. It's the life of birds this year and I just love her clubs, how she puts them together and how informative they are and um, the details she gives about how she's chosen the yarn, the either the animal or the tree or um, what inspired her and as I say I just love her dyeing process and the yarns just suit my palette um, so well and um, really they're what Andrew likes as well so we can we can share them which is really which is really good um, so that's going to be January socks it just it's on its way actually it arrived today and um, so I will be able to get those cast on so um, the other things just going to be ongoing is a pair of socks for Andrew every now and again I want to build up his uh, working socks um, selection so that he can alternate them a little bit more often and um, just ease the wear on them so that's my that's my goal for the next few months with him so I want to talk a little bit just quickly about uh, really goodness and um, some things that I've got this is a section I when I'm watching podcasts sometimes um, sometimes I enjoy sometimes I don't so um, I don't want to, to bore you with um, things that I've bought and I don't buy very much um, so it's not going to be a big section but I know some people some people like to see just some of the yarns and it gives them ideas so I'm going to just um, share it quickly so um, as I said the January Sock Club just arrived I'm not sure how many people have got theirs so I don't want to spoil it for them but I will show you how it arrives in a beautiful fabric little pouch um, it comes with um, some tea it comes with progress keepers and this one is absolutely beautiful and it comes with a, a real detail of um, as I say how the colors were chosen and some information about um, obviously this year it's about the bird um, but as I say it goes worldwide so I don't really want to I don't really want to spoil it for anybody else so I will show the colors 
I will show the colors um, the next time, but that's all I'm going to show today. So that just arrived just before lunch. Super duper pleased with that. Um, I also just purchased last week then, as I showed you, the, the wool for Andrew's socks. And I purchased this skein as well. I um, can't remember the name of it. It's 941. It was their Christmas it was their Christmas colour, but Andrew doesn't mind that. And the three work well together, so it'll give me the maximum number, maximum number of socks um, out of those. Uh, yep. Yeah. On Thursday then, um, I visited a UK um, store, it's called Hobbycraft, and there's one uh, it's about 60 miles from us, but um, Andrew was taking me out for the afternoon because it's my birthday next week, so this is where I, I wanted to go. So um, if you've been watching uh, Kate of uh, Hawthorne Cottage Craft, which is another Northern Ireland podcast, and you should, I highly recommend her. Um, she works in the store and she had knit up a pair of socks for display in this uh, yarn. It's called... Uh, Two of a kind and it looked really good I asked her about it she said it, she thought it would be reasonably hard wearing I seen her lovely knitting and her socks hanging in the store and I didn't get to meet Kate but maybe another day so I brought the blues um if you can see sort of um, maybe lighter in the center and I thought I would give them a go um again for for Andrew they had a lovely black but it was black and white and white isn't great um, for keeping clean um, so I brought that and um, it worked I think there were three pounds thirty so if I can get a reasonable hardware pair of socks for three pounds thirty I'm well placed and um, you can maybe see there just how it, how it sort of knits up so yeah we'll give it a go and give it a go and see how it goes so that really has been just the two or three things that I have bought in January I did treat myself to a new book that's coming out um, it'll be posting on the 14th of February from Lane magazine and it's uh, Socks 52, let's see I wrote the name of it down, um, the book of socks, yeah Lane magazine I think it's 52, is it 52 weeks of socks or something like that and um, so I did treat this beautiful hardback book and um, so I did treat myself to that but mainly for the rest of the year I just want to stick to the sock club and use up some of the yarn that's in my stash for sweaters so that's all my really goodness and I have covered my finished things things that are on the needles I covered what's coming up next and yeah I'll just finish off with a quick wee bit of chat um, there's nothing really um, Nothing really exciting has happened here. It's been very busy from we went on holidays. As I say, there was lots of catching up to do. Um, the boys are busy at the yard. Um, they we have a slurry van in EU, um, which closes um, on the 31st of October and doesn't open again to the 1st of February. So um, the boys are busy um, putting out the, the slurry onto the fields. Get the grass growing and get uh, the nutrition back into the land before they start to sow their seeds again come April times and start the whole process of growing again and um, feeding, the, feeding the cows right through the summer and then producing the grass and the silage for to feed them all through the winter again. It's just the, the beginning of the cycle has, has started so that's basically what they're what they're doing at the minute apart from the main the main milking of the the cows we're in the middle of a storm here at the moment and um, we're under a weather warning so today is really cold and extremely blowy it's not very nice at all so there was just one other thing um, on thursday when we were out there's a new refill store has opened beside um, beside me here and I went along to it to try it um, I know some of the podcasts I watch and um, people are very um, fond of them and I wanted to experience it for myself and it is great um, you were able to take along your containers fill them how much or how little that you needed the prices were 
really good. Um, overall, everything worked out cheaper, even if one product was slightly more expensive. On average, everything worked out cheaper. Um, I really liked it because you could you could get in the quantity that you wanted, um, especially nuts and things. You have to buy them in so small packets, so much plastic, um, but you were able to buy, you know, a, a good fill and um, the, the last without having to run to the supermarket all the time. Plus you have the whole recycling aspect as well. And they did have a uh, strong flour for making my bread. So that was good. And there's a couple more things that they'll be bringing in. So I would recommend if you have one, I would recommend you go along, give it a try. Um, I was a bit apprehensive because you sort of think, oh gosh, more expense. Um, than buying it you know you think a supermarket should be the cheapest but definitely wasn't um it's definitely something worth a try i didn't try any of the laundry detergents or washing up um detergent anything like that toothpaste shampoo i didn't do all that but they did have it all um and it's something i will build up on as as time goes on and i'm most certainly up for trying the, the shampoos and things and seeing how they are how they how they go in comparison to the shop bought ones so i think that was really all that i wanted to share with you today as i say i wanted to keep the podcast as short as possible i will pop in the video um up where i talk about my cow the color choices and i would love it if you did pop your comment down below to see what you thought and um yeah i'm sure it'll be on the needles by the time we chat again so um, enjoy the rest of your your weekend um, I hope you're getting some of your your crafting um, uh, done and um, that you are enjoying your time off if you're off work and I do hope to pop in and chat with you all again soon so for now I will say goodbye